hasn't been a good week at all now. We've had, uh, I think, five or six fatalities this week. To be precise, five truck drivers killed in nine days. As the decades have flown by, our wages haven't kept pace with uh, inflation and the rest of the community. And now we're in a situation where, in order to keep up, we have to work longer and, and harder. And, you know, the, the outcome of that uh, is seen every night on the six o'clock news. Usually it's not the transport companies and their executives feeling the heat, it's the truckies. A summer evening at the Maroolan Way Bridge, just north of Goulburn in New South Wales. Truck drivers are being pulled over by police conducting random drug tests for methamphetamine and marijuana. Alright, basically, drag it down your tongue. Drag it down your tongue, as you know how to do it. Change colour when you're done properly. Tastes horrible, does it? Word soon gets out via the truckies' CB radios. The drug test, the drug pass is there. We've just been advised by some of the drivers that um, a lot of them have been banked up at some of the uh, stop areas further up the road. But we're here for about 40 hours, so we should expect some of them to have to roll. He's right. The freight can't wait, and drivers run the gauntlet. It's not long before there's a positive test. It would appear you've gone positive for the cannabis, having oh. a look, legal substance in your system. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know so, how much, but yeah. Well, that's, that's exactly right. We'll find that out. Mm. So at this point in time, you are under arrest for the purpose of a secondary test, which will be conducted in the truck. I'll uh, go up these stairs, boss. Straight, straight up, straight from you. As night falls, another driver's caught. Hey, it's giving an indication of methamphetamine. Okay, well, so at this point in time, you're under arrest. It's all right, no, it's purpose fine. of the secondary test. Yeah, it's wrong. Then another. Now, of course, you returned the positive reading for a proof of drug being methamphetamines. Yeah. In the space of two hours, police test 50 truck drivers and record three positive drug readings. Truckers work in gruelling hours use speed, as it's known, to combat fatigue but the consequences can be lethal. Unfortunately, with speed, there's no indicator as to when your body's going to actually shut down. So frequently we see um, heavy vehicle accidents where there's no braking. The person's just fallen asleep at the wheel and collided with something. Now that could be with a tree or a fence, or unfortunately it could be with another vehicle. To make ends meet and get the load in on time, truckers are known to drive beyond the legal hours. But even the hours truck drivers can lawfully work are staggering. 12 hours a day, six days a week is the norm. If a company's qualified for basic fatigue management, truckies can drive for 14 hours. Advanced fatigue management, up to 16 hours. The WA regime is at the extreme. It allows for up to 17 hours. 